good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today I'm actually going to go over some of the projects that I've been making with the February bargain bead box kit. Um, so I got this in the mail. Um, I don't remember when exactly, exactly what date I got it. Um, but I got this in the mail and then I fell in love with the colors because, well, most of you guys know that I like anything that is blue and or green. And, um, so that was the theme with the February box. It was called, if, uh, this is the right one. Yes. It was called spring rain. And, um, so this was, uh, don't mind that information, but this was the things that came in the box. I still have a handful of things left. Um, like these, these guys here, these guys were giving me trouble. I kept trying to use them and they kept saying, nope. But I was like, all right, cool. Um, cause every wire that I had was too thick. It wouldn't go through the hole. Um, uh, all the jump rings that I had were too thick. They wouldn't go through the hole. So I was just like, all right, well, we're done with that. Um, I have a handful of these guys left. Um, these little agate beads. So I've got a few of those left. Uh, let's see. Uh, I've got quite a few of the findings left. The toggle. I still have one of those. And, um, I've got, let's see, I'm just, I have another mat like this that's over here and I'm just kind of pulling from it right now, trying to, you know, show you guys what I have left. Um, and I just, I wanted to try to use as much of it as I could before I came on here and was like, Hey, this is what I made. Um, but there's still so much of this subscription box that is left. It is unreal the amount of beads that you get for such a small amount of price. Still have all of these left almost. And I used them in, I used them in, uh, at, let's see, earrings, necklace, and, oh, I also made a, I also made a topper, a bottle topper, because, well, I love making bottle toppers, so of course I had to make one of those. Um, but anyway, um, oh, here's the findings that I was talking about. Like these guys here, I still have three of these left. I still have all of these. It came with three, or yeah, it came with four. I still have four, um, so I still have all of those. My problem was, um, is the wire that I have to wrap is not in the antique bronze or copper color. So I had to get real creative with that. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm just going to kind of start and, uh, kind of move them out of the way as we go. And you guys can keep count, um, everything that I've made with this kit is right here and right here right beside me and on my wrist so this one is my very first stretch bracelet that i ever made and i actually love it um i think i made this one to a seven and a half maybe an eight i don't remember but it's super big like it just boop. like this is before i I realized that I didn't really need to make it quite that loose because I like to wear an eight because it's loose on me, but I didn't think about the fact that it's stretchy. So yeah. Anyway, so I made three pairs of earrings. So I've got these guys here. Here, let me just zoom you in instead. There we go. That's better. So I've got these guys here. And don't mind my thumb. I decided to slice it open. It's covered, obviously. These guys here. I love these. And I also do have some earring um, hooks coming that are 14 karat gold as well as sterling silver. 
um, because I, I really do enjoy wearing my own jewelry, but earrings, it is an absolute no-go. I have to wear either gold or silver. So I do have those coming. So those will soon be an option um, for purchase if you want um, any of my earrings and you want them specifically to have the gold or silver. Um, I might be able to put that in the listings somehow. I'm not sure. I'll have to play around with it a little bit. But uh, as of right now, these are just stainless steel, so they're not... Most of the people that have sensitive ears can wear stainless steel just fine. I am weird. <laughs> uh, this is actually part of a set. So this is, um, I love this pair. This is probably one of my favorite. Maybe because it's so simple, I don't know. But it's definitely one of my favorite. Uh, this one is part of a set. And this goes with this necklace here and I got the idea from this necklace I don't remember where but I was playing with my memory wire and I love memory wire necklaces absolutely love memory wire necklaces but I also really like dangled necklaces and so I thought hmm I wonder can I put them together and so I did and so there is the dangle on that and this wraps around let me grab my vest here so zooming back out all right so this will wrap around here and then it's connected onto the memory wire and it just dangles down just like that And so I am waiting for a box because I have boxes on order uh, for the jewelry. And um, come on, readjust. There we go. So I have boxes on order for my jewelry. And um, I'm waiting to list this one specifically until I get those boxes. Because right now I'm kind of having to like pile it up and... I don't want to do that because I don't want the chain to get tangled up. Um, let's see, where was I? Oh, and the pen. I love this pen. It kind of reminds me of like a shipwreck because of the colors, obviously. Um, okay, the color is like being super weird right now. Nope, 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 nope. What is happening with my color? I don't know. My color's being weird. So, um, it's like I zoomed it out, and as soon as I zoomed it out, now it's being really wonky. I think it just needs time to readjust to the colors or something. I don't know. But anyway, um, so maybe it's just the colorations or what, but um, it kind of reminds me of a shipwreck with all of the different stuff going on. And I actually used a toggle here as part of the collage, if you will, of beads and, and such. So there's the pen. That is a glue stopper. And this is one of mine. I'm actually keeping that one. Oh my gosh, this is going to drive me nuts right now. Um, So let's take that and, okay, hopefully that just made it better. Oh, it is so much better. Okay, so anyway, um, let me show you that pin one more time in colors that aren't crazy. All right, so anyway, now that you can actually see what it looks like, gee, money, that was crazy. That's a glue stopper. For those of you who um, follow me and know that I do journaling and stuff, uh, this is one of my favorite things to do as well, is making toppers for the glue bottles to make them party. 
Okay, so I took the other bracelet off so you could see this one. And this was another wrap bracelet that I made. And this one's actually a little bit different because it's made using an oval memory wire instead of a round memory wire. So it is a little bit different and it does sit on your wrist a little bit different too. So I actually really like how it sits. It's really comfortable. It's not like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, but I do like how it sits. So I did some wire wrapping here with this bead and got a leaf that I pulled from my stash on this one. So, um, right. Ow. Now, uh, let's see. Here is another one. Let me zoom you out just a smidge. Okay. So, this one is another memory wire. And I absolutely love these beads. These were so fun to play with. I wish I had more, but I just used what I had. And, um,. I think one of the biggest reasons that I had this, the subscription box last so long was I incorporated a lot from my own stash in addition to what was in the bead box. Like for this one, for instance, the, these frosted beads right here, oops, these frosted beads right here, that's what came out of the subscription box. That's it. Everything else came from my stash. I just used colors that matched the box, basically. And I have an overwhelming amount of green beads. So, yeah. I love this one because it's uh, multi-layered or multi-tiered or multi-ringed or however you want to say that. But it's got a massive amount of bands to it. There are five, six... Depends on you know where you're sitting but it's got six rings and the beads that came out of the box with this one is um, these little spacer beads right here as well as these little agate beads these eight millimeter agate beads so there is that and I love this one I almost kept this one too but I just decided to keep the one um, and then this one here is um this is a seven inch stretch bracelet and as you can see this one fits just fine because i didn't realize that you know a stretch bra <laughs> i don't know what i was thinking but anyway this is a seven inch stretch bracelet um these guys here these teardrop dagger things they came out of the box these brass um, spacer beads came out of the box and these frosted came out of the subscription box and that's it on this one um, and let's say this one here I think this one's a seven. Oh, that other one might have been a seven and a half yeah I think the other one was a seven and a half because this one's a seven but isn't that pretty? Oh my gosh, I just love this. I love this one because it's just, it's so elegant and so sparkly and so dainty. I love it. And then there's this one here, which is, um, I think this might have been another eight, I think. Yeah, this one's another eight because it's just kind of hanging off of my wrist. There's that one. And then I'm going to put this one back on because I'm done with the bracelets. Oh, yeah, I'm done with the bracelets. So now that we've got a little bit more space, this one is my latest one. I literally just finished this this evening. Well, for me, it's Tuesday night, Tuesday evening. Um, for you guys, it'll be Wednesday morning. So this one, I wanted to do a um, kind of a hodgepodge of beads, but all matching, of course. 
and I used the, oh, I don't even know what they're called, but they're ceramic and they're so shiny. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then I also used these, which are also ceramic and there was only two, but I used those and I did, <coughs> excuse me, these two little leaves here, they came in the box and, um, these little blow pearls all throughout here and here, they also came in the box. Uh, this little, uh, chandelier came in the box and these little teardrop came in the box. All of the findings like the pins and the, the jump rings and, and the clasp, this clasp, uh, came out of my stash. Um, and I wish there was a better way to show you guys, but it's just, oh, it's so pretty. I love, love, love this one. And then these two are the only two so far that I have on the shop. Because like I said, I'm waiting for my box to show up or my boxes to show up so I can more properly store these guys because I mean, who doesn't like sorry silk? But at the same time, I just I wanted to I wanted to I wanted it to be more secure than just kind of wrapped up in a circle and wrapped in sorry silk. You know what I mean? So this one is a multi strand and it actually um There we go. It is kind of a multi-strand. So it's a multi-strand from here down. And then from here up, it's one strand. Whee. You really can't show these very well on camera, I don't think. I mean, that's pretty good. So these, I love these. I'm going to have to see if I can find some more of these in the shop um, because they're amazing. And these little guys here, um, these are amazing. I loved them so much. Um, I used all, <laughs> I used a lot of the frosted beads in this one and these little itty bitty teeny tiny micro 15 seed beads. Those also came in the box and they're in between all of the, um, the pink crystal bicones, those came out of my stash. But it's pink crystal bicones here with white pearl, glass pearls here, and then these uh, tiger tooth, oh, what are they called? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, top drilled, just agate. They're, yep, they're just agate. Yep. Crackled Aqua, but they're really cool. I actually was surprised at how much fun I had making this. It was a lot of fun. And then it's got the toggle clasp at the top. There we go. Just like that. So. I'm going to unhook this so I can wrap it back up in a swinkle. It's the only way I know how to store this thing right now. Then again, even when the box comes, I still don't really know how to store a multi-strand necklace like this. Got any ideas? Let me know because I am all ears. At least the box will protect the beads themselves because the beads are glass. So, um, so there's that. All right. And then the last thing that I want to show you guys that I've made, I hope you guys are keeping track because I have not is this is actually a pretty popular set. I've had a lot of attention on this particular set. Uh, and this is the only other item that I have on the shop right now. 
Uh, this is a memory wire necklace. And let's see. Bring the bust back out here. And it sits like this. Okay. And then the earrings are so. I can open these up. If need be, I can put them in another bag. I love these earrings. Now, putting these beads on the jump rings, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> I don't know if you guys have ever tried putting beads on jump rings, but uh, yeah, that's that's definitely interesting to say the least. So anyway, yeah, that's uh, that is what I have made thus far with the. February bargain bead box. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of the bead box away and like with the rest of my stash and I'm going to start working on another bead box because I've got a couple to uh, to play with and I actually just subscribed to um, Jesse James beads. Uh, so I'm pretty excited about that. And I don't know when the first one's going to be here. I just got it yesterday. Like I just made the subscription yesterday. So I don't know when it's going to actually show up. They said between two to three day, two to three business days. So I'm guessing by this weekend, it should have processed my order and, you know, shipped it all out. But who knows? I don't know. Anyway, this is also wrapped in sorry silk. And with each one of my um, jewelries, you'll get a jewelry instructions care kit. Um, a little thank you card. That's how they come. And the earrings, they obviously, the cards don't come in the earrings because the earrings are yay big. And the cards are this big. <laughs> but you still get a card. Just not in the bag with the earrings. So anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. I had a lot of fun making everything. Um, let me know what your favorite piece was. I am, I'm very interested to see which one you guys liked the best. Um, I think my, my favorite one, just because of the innovation of it, is the memory wrap with the dangle. That one is probably my favorite, only for the sheer like innovation of it it's just it's just cool <laughs> like am I allowed to say that <laughs> I hope so because I'm saying it but yeah it's just it's just so neat and if you guys see it on oh my gosh like it's amazing it's incredible so anyway um yeah let me know what your favorite piece was I'd be curious to find out anyway thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in the next video bye guys